Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel I do planner and planner related videos with the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel and if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. And if you could also comment, like, and share. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. So we are finishing and closing out the month of June in our cash envelopes. Now I've said this before, but I think in this video or this time around, we'll actually do it. Um, but I believe this is going to be a short video. So, um, Last week, uh, I mentioned that I put everything in spending uh, because I didn't really think I needed an office or toiletries. And I had talked about, um, I had a $40 savings goal and then some things came up and I had to use the money that I had saved. But guys, I have $31 left. Of the $40 that I started with, I have 31. Now that isn't because of superhuman willpower or um, because I was just really focused on my goal. Um, it was really bad weather this week. So it was raining and humidity of like a thousand, which I never really understand because I think the humidity got up into the 80%. I mean, does that mean when it gets to 100% we're underwater? I don't, I never understood that, but it was crazy humid. It was storming on a couple of days. There was thunder. It was just, it was horrible. So it wasn't the kind of days where I'm like, let me go to Walmart and see what they have. So uh, the only day that I actually spent money, and we'll actually go right into that, is on Thursday when I had lunch in the cafeteria. Now the cafeteria is the building right next to ours and there's cover. It wasn't raining, but I mean, if, if I wanted to, I could have gone all week and, and picked up lunch. But it, I mean, the humidity, it's the kind of humidity where you take a shower and as soon as you step out of the shower, you need to take a shower because it's just like, ugh, it's horrible. So that was $9. And I'm actually not, I'm, I'm not going to close this out because when I set up the July cash envelopes, I'm actually going to put these to the side for a while and use new ones just because, um, you know, I want to look at something different. <laughs> I've got a bunch of these, so why not? And then we are going to move this into savings. Um, and this is the little uh, pocket divider thing that I made uh, just because the way that I do cash envelopes, uh, they will be funded for the next month with the previous month. So on the 29th, which is today, we are adding 31. So we should have $45. So 20, 30. 35, 40, 40, no, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So we made our goal, guys. We made our goal. Now, had we not had to dip into this, we would have had forty plus eight plus 23 plus 13 plus 30. Wow, we would have had $115. And I only start out with $200 a month. <laughs> now this month it was easy or it was easier because I do $200 a month and this month only had four weeks in it. So instead of giving myself more money per week, I just put money aside from the off, $40. And so the $40 challenge was really for the, for the month, could I save an additional $40? So 
um, that gives me some thought for how I'm going to do my cash envelopes. I already took the twenty, the two hundred dollars out. Uh, you guys saw last week where I put it in, so I'll be working on this today. But yeah, that does d definitely give me pause on what to do for next month because I can't save a ton of money. I mean, at the most, I could save. $200 if I just have an absolute no spending month and I just don't foresee that happening but there there certainly seems to be wiggle room so I guess I should just hope for stormy days and that way I don't want to spend anything because I don't want to leave the office but yeah that's that's it guys that is the sum total of this video I thought about tracking up here and and I might but um, I know that most of my money either, no, most of my money goes towards food with a little bit towards toiletries and office. So again, that might also change how I look at spending per week. Um, I might go to just one type of uh, category per week. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. Yay, we saved. Um, we made our goal, even though we spent what we had saved before. We saved $45 this week, this actually, or this month. This will stay in here. And then as I get close to my second paycheck in July, I'll either use this towards cash envelopes to take out less, or I will actually put this in the bank and move it over to savings. I, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out as it goes. But I like having just a little bit of wiggle room in cash um, at home just because if something comes up on the weekends it's easier for me to get this than it is to get to a bank all right guys that's it for me for this video and as always aloha